welcome back to the channel guys. Um, these videos are going to keep getting a hell of a lot better. I know that for a fact. And um, my health and everything feels very on point. As of today, I feel like a night and day difference just from today than yesterday. And uh, we're going to keep that train rolling. I want to really pay attention to burnout and stuff like this because it's not good whenever you get yourself down like that. Like your hair literally starts to get like thinner or something, less thick. I notice these little things when you're overworked, you're stressed, um, you might feel anxiety. I put a lot of pressure on myself on a day-to-day -day basis, getting everything done that I need to get done, and it's almost like, sometimes I'm on point, which I am right now, and sometimes I go into this, I don't even know what the hell it is, it's just like, you're overworked, you need to take a break, but you keep going, and you keep going, and you put yourself in that bad state. It's just, it's not a great feeling. But anyways, guys, um, let's get on with this video right now. And I'm going to explain to you guys why narcissists make you feel worthless. And the truth of that is because they feel worthless and they also want you to feel worthless. If you are happy... If you are in high spirits, if you are confident, if you have self-confidence, in their egotistical minds, automatically they feel threatened by you. They feel challenged. They feel like you think that you're better than them. And this is only what goes on in their delusional minds. Um, they make it a competition if you're happier. If you feel better, they feel entitled to feel happier and better than you. And that's why they want to make you feel miserable. They will do anything in their power to make you feel miserable. Um, they might ignore you to make you feel miserable. They might, let's say if you were friends with these individuals, they might just not support you in any way, shape, or form. Maybe you're on a high note. Maybe you're doing some good things and they see that and they're, they might not be at this moment. They might be going through a tougher stage in life or something like that and they just don't want to show you any respect. In fact, they want to disrespect you and talk shit about you and do all these things to you to throw you off, to try to bring you down and when they do bring you down, it gives them joy. It literally makes them feel good about themselves to do this to you. And like I said, they're projecting how they feel onto you. They want you to feel the same as them. And it just makes no sense because we as human beings, we're not all going to be on the same track 24-7. We're going to all go through our hurdles. We're all going to have our tougher times and our better times. The truth of that is supporting each other and staying a good human being no matter if you're on a high note right now or you're on the down low and things are not going so smooth at this moment you should never bring other people down or project your shit on other people just because you might be going through a tougher time right now and somebody else might be having a little bit of shine that you feel you deserve right now from the work you didn't do or some shit like this. This is just an example. And whenever they're in a high note, you could be on a lower note. It's, it's how the universe works. Um, our lives are very different. We're not the same. And there's people out there in this world that want to think we're all equal as human beings. We are all the same. No, we're fucking not. We're actually not at all. Every single one of us have most likely some things in common, but that don't make us the same. We are all built different. Some of us have different skin color. Some of us are taller and some of us are shorter. 
How are we the same? An animal is an animal, but an elephant and a bear are very fucking different. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what it is, guys. Um, what I'm trying to say here is it does not matter where you're at in life. It doesn't matter how big you feel or how small you feel. You should always know deep down in your heart and in your soul that you can't, you, it's never all right to disrespect anybody. It's never all right to bring other people down, no matter what. Even if you're in your lowest of moments. Whenever I was in my lowest of moments, I didn't disrespect anybody. I didn't call people down. The most I ever did was retaliate because somebody disrespected me. That's the most I ever did. I never lashed out at somebody. When nothing's happening, just out of nowhere, you lie shit or you talk shit about somebody or you start drama. Never in my life did I ever do this one time. Never. It's not who I am. But narcissists, they tend to do this a lot. And it's because they're always down. They lack self-esteem. They lack awareness. And they don't care how they behave. They're going to behave however their mean spirit wants them to behave. And that's why I said, they're gonna project their shit onto you. They want you to feel down. They'll say things like, you, you think too highly of yourself and stuff like this if you're a confident person. They just, they'll put just this straight ass face and just look at you because you got some shine or you're happy or you're doing some good things. Um. <laughs> I get those looks often, guys. Like, this shit hasn't been happening lately to me, thank God. Uh, I pray for more peace. I pray for better vibes off of people in general. But there's always snakes out there, and there's always people that are watching you that despise every single thing you do. And that is just the truth. And they can never come to terms with it. They can never just accept you. For who you are they always have to belittle you and do something to call you down or bring you down or make up excuses as to why you are who you are if you complain you're going to stay the same and these individuals like to complain these individuals like to bring other people down constantly out of nowhere they see something and it just bothers them <clears throat> And you're fucking not going to get anywhere is doing some shit like that, so. But most of these people, they never learn. And they always have this attitude. They always have this outlook on life. And these are the same people that are complaining that like to party. That like to do wild shit all the time. Whenever they could be spending their time doing that doing something that's going to get them closer to where they want to be, but no, they'd rather bullshit their time, and they'd rather complain about other people who are achieving goals and doing their thing, because they're not doing it, and they make up excuses as to why they're doing it. Everyone has 24 hours in the run of the day. Most people got to show up to work. Most people got to do what they do. And you have free time every single day. I don't care who you are. You got some free time. It depends. It all depends what you do in your free time as to how things are going to turn out. Because we all have time in the run of a day that we got to get shit done. And we need to use that time to get shit done. And sometimes it's not pretty. Sometimes it's a grind. Sometimes it is hard. But... We do not complain. We get it done. We feel our pain sometimes. And we push it forward because if we complain, we stay the same. We're not staying the same, bro. We're not staying the same. So, um, but anyways, guys, this is my take on this video. Why narcissists want to bring you down pretty much. Um, they know they're below you. And like I said, their egos can't take it. 
They can't take you being better than them, even though you don't think like this. It's not like you think that you think you're better than them. You're just confident. You don't even think about these things. You're just who you are. They see who you are, and they feel that you are better than them. That's why they think like this. But, speaking for myself in my mind, I don't think this way towards other people. I don't see me ahead or below anybody. I see everyone as human beings with potential. We all have potential. It depends what you do with yourself that makes you who you are. And when you do the right things, which doing the right things is fucking hard. A lot of the time doing the right things is the hard things. And narcissists just don't want to do this. And I'm not judging anybody for however they want to live their life, but do not complain. That's what I can't stand. People that have something to say, people that want to be mad at you and give you these crazy ass looks because they're bullshitting their time or they're spending time not productively and they have something to say just be happy with your life and shut up like straight up this is what they have to know it's a personality disorder you can't see past your stupid mind because it is stupid let's be honest um There are billionaires in this world, guys. There are very rich, wealthy, successful, happy people in this world that have more than me, that are ahead of me. I do not look at these people as a threat. Like, do you realize what these people probably had to do to get in the position that they're in? They probably had to go through a living hell to make that happen. And you know what? Somebody probably was granted that life. And it doesn't matter either way. We are not them. Let's just be happy for everybody else. Let's just be happy for these people and not hate on them or bring them down. Or make excuses as to why they are who they are. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. But this is the truth. This is how it is. And it's how it's always going to be with these people. So, and what do we do with these people? <sighs> we don't deal with them. We don't deal with them. We don't listen to them. Whatever they say, they're not saying it to us. They're saying it behind our backs because they know if they were to say certain things to us, we'd prove them wrong. And they'd end up looking like a, like a dumbass. Because they can't say nothing with logic. They're not speaking anything to do with logic. They're talking smack. They're talking not facts. They're not speaking facts. They're just talking smack. Because they can do nothing else besides do that. So, um, I'm going to cut this video short now, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this topic. Um... Let's hear what you guys have to say in the comment section. I'm going to get to the other videos shortly here and answer those comments. Um, I'll be back with some more videos tomorrow, guys. Have a great rest of this Monday. She's getting late now, but we'll be back tomorrow with some more videos. Until next time, peace out.